Our nations are strongest when we see that we are all God's children, all equal in his eyes and worthy of his love. Across our two great countries, we have Hindus and Muslims, Christians and Sikhs and Jews and Buddhists and Johns and, and so many faiths. And we remember the wisdom of Gandhiji, who said, for me, the different religions are beautiful flowers from the same garden, or they are branches of the same majestic tree. <laughs> branches of the same majestic tree. Our freedom of religion is written into our founding documents. It's part of America's very first am amendment. Your Article 25 says that all people are equally entitled to freedom of conscience and the right freely to profess, practice, and propagate religion. In both our countries, in all countries, upholding this fundamental freedom is the responsibility of government, but it's also the responsibility of every person. In our lives, Michelle and I have been strengthened by our Christian faith. But there have been times where my faith's been questioned by people who don't know me. Or they've said I adhere to a different religion, as if that were somehow a bad thing. Around the world, we've seen intolerance and violence and terror perpetrated by those who profess to be standing up for their faith, but in fact are betraying it. No society is immune from the darkest impulses of men. And too often, religion has been used to tap into those darker impulses as opposed to the light of God. Three years ago, in our state of Wisconsin, back in the United States, a man went into a Sikh temple and in a terrible act of violence killed six innocent people, Americans and Indians. And in that moment of shared grief, our two countries reaffirmed a basic truth, as we must again today, that every person has the right to practice their faith how they choose, or to practice no faith at all, and to do so free of persecution and fear and discrimination. The peace we seek in the world begins in human hearts. And it finds its glorious expression when we look beyond any differences in religion or tribe and rejoice in the beauty of every soul.